Leo ulimwengu umeadhimisha siku ya viwango ulimwenguni. Katika maadhimisho hayo ambayo huadhimishwa kila tarehe 14 Oktoba, huangazia utendakazi na ubora wa bidhaa pamoja na huduma za mashirika kwa wananchi. Katika maadhimisho hayo, Edi Njoroge ambaye ni rais wa shirika la ubora la kimataifa, amehakikishia wakenya kujitolea kwao katika shughuli hizi. We now have a new ISO standard which has come. And this is going to be a very interesting one because it's 37,001, which is on anti-bribery. And as we all know, this is one thing that we are fighting for seriously in this country. Corruption is, uh, is big in this country. And we can certify people on anti-bribery. But we have said before we do that, we want people to, uh, to be trained more, to have a culture that we are not doing it so that we can be seen we have a certificate for anti corruption or anti bribery huku kaulimbiu ya madhimisho ya mwaka huu yakiwa uboreshaji wa viwango vya video katika kuleta ubora wa viwanda na bidhaa ulimwenguni Edi Njoroge amewakishia wa Kenya kuboreshwa kwa viwango vya teknolojia on the issue of the 5G um, obviously this is going to be the next big thing um, in communications um, in um, and as i said uh, in my comments today this is very relevant today. Um, as you know, with the 5G technology, you'll be able to stream uh, much, much more easily. You'll be able to download huge documents. You'll be able to, um, uh, in the medical field, for instance, you'll be able to perform operations uh, from uh, one place and send the information, or somebody is sitting somewhere else is able to watch. So there's a lot that will be done. <laughs> Ikifahamika fika kuwa washikadao kutoka mataifa mbalimbali walikusanyika jini Nairobi kuadhimisha siku hii ni imani kuwa viwango vya ubora wa bidhaa huko nchini zitatiliwa manani ili kumfaidi mkenya katika biashara za nje nchi. Nikiripotia TV47 kutoka Nairobi mimi ni Tony Mwirigi. Uwa.